I love sweets, but something that I'm willing to trade all the chocolates, cakes, pastries, whatever other sweet stuff in the world is kakanin. So today we are gonna make kakanin three ways. We'll start things off with biko, bibing kangkanin, and suman. <laughs> For Biko, we're gonna start off by combining our glutinous rice soaked in water for two hours with our water, coconut milk, and brown sugar. We're gonna bring it to a boil and simmer it while mixing continuously until it's thick and almost dried out. So people say na kapagod gumawa dahil halo ka ng halo. Totoo yun. But always worth it naman yung ating finished product. So by running the, the leaves over open flame, you turn it from this very stiff leaf to something that you can use to wrap or line your pants with. We're gonna set it aside on a bilao or a baking pan lined with either a parchment paper or banana leaves brushed with a bit of coconut oil. We're just gonna cool it down and let it set. For the latik, we are just gonna simmer coconut cream in a pan over low heat until it oils out and eventually it cooks the coconut cream into that crispy topping called latik. For our bibing kangkanin, we are gonna combine our rice, coconut milk, and our sugar. Half white sugar, and half brown sugar. We're gonna bring it to a boil and then simmer while continuously mixing until almost dried out and thick. And make sure that the rice is already fully cooked. We're gonna transfer it into a pan lined with either parchment paper or just brushed with oil or banana leaves brushed with coconut oil and then we are gonna make the topping. To make the topping in a pan, combine your coconut cream, brown sugar, and salt. Bring it to a simmer and cook it down until it's nice and thick. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Place the topping on top of your kakanin and bake it for 15 minutes or until thick. For the suman, combine your glutinous rice, your coconut milk, sugar, and salt. Just like when you make steamed rice, cook it over low heat. Just simmer until it's dry and set it aside. Now run your banana leaves over some fire or open flame until it's malleable. Place two tablespoons of your rice mixture, roll it into a cigar and fold the sides, and then steam it for 15 to 18 minutes. This is actually my favorite. Siguro dahil meron siyang custard on top, which I really like. Mm. And the biko. Solid. Now, this type of suman, ito yung hindi kailangan na matamis. So, if gusto nyo yung nilalagyan pa ng pampatamis like asukal, muscovado, or even yung minatamis na garban sauce, you could just half the sugar in this recipe and you're good to go. But this one, as is, is perfect. Mm. Sipin mo, dessert mo kanin. 